If you don't want to look like a shredded gymnast, don't care about long-term joint health, don't want to perform exercises with masterful precision, and don't want to learn various impressive skills, in this video I'll share what you should skip in your workouts to achieve just that. Just skip the warm-up entirely. Some people say it's a waste of time and unnecessary. If you must, because you've been injured before, just do a few arm circles, use a massage gun or sit in a sauna, which works great for a warm-up given the warm temperature. After all, 5 minutes is apparently way too much time to enhance blood circulation in your muscles, increasing their flexibility, lubricate your joints, increasing their range of motion for the workout, stimulate your neuromuscular connections, prevent muscle tension and pain during the workout, overcome the mental barrier to be more motivated, reduce the risk of injuries and achieve better workout performance. Too high a price for 5 minutes I understand, so better to skip it entirely to achieve the exact opposite. Ignore joint preparation. Since many people don't even know what it is, they completely skip it, probably doing it right, so you should too. Joint preparation exercises are only meant to mobilize and strengthen your joints and critical areas to prepare them for the more intense load. But I know, it sounds complicated, so just keep doing your thing. Your joints will probably strengthen as you continue doing your exercises. You probably don't have time for this, and if you get hurt, you might either just take a few weeks or months off, or decide to push even harder. You won't miss out on anything, just the chance to drastically reduce the risk of injuries, strengthen the weak links that could later plateau your progress, while getting to know your body's movements, developing body awareness, and building confident body control. These are truly negligible things that will just half your progress. So just train hard and your body will eventually catch up. Just jump into any flashy exercise you want to learn and try them out, they will eventually work out. There is no point in using progressions and following a logical order. Sure, it might be wise to start with simpler but impressive exercises like the L-sit, shoulder stand and elbow lever and only then move to handstands, levers, human flag or planche, following a few reasonable progressions that gradually strengthen you for the specific skill you're aiming for. But by doing so, you might just minimize the risk of injuries, enjoy the process more with achievements and have much more stable and impressive results. Well, I don't know. Perhaps it's just easier to keep pushing no matter what because you might just get it right on the thousandth try. Don't perform controlled reps, do them quickly as you are in a hurry. Just pump out those reps, the point is to make the muscles swell. Controlled repetitions will only work your muscles more efficiently, resulting in longer muscle tension and more intense load. If you did your exercises this way, you might end up muscular, so definitely don't pay attention to that. You're better off pumping in a short range of motion. Using the full range of motion would only make your exercises more effective, improve joint mobility, body awareness, increase time under tension and result in more intense load. This would mean you could progress better and become more muscular, so definitely avoid it. Don't lock your elbows as it could put a huge load on the joint and immediately cause injuries. Gymnasts perform nearly all their exercises with locked elbows and see how unhealthy they are. They perform in six apparatuses, they are muscular, lean, move their bodies easily and have good endurance. Especially noticeable in ring specialists, one side effect of straight arm exercises, their biceps is insane. This is because the biceps participate not just in elbow, but also shoulder flexion. Gymnasts gradually strengthen this movement, the tissues around the elbow joint and the biceps itself. But you're better off listening to stereotypes and never lock your elbows again. Don't breathe during exercises. It's well known that the intensity of an exercise is good when you have to exert yourself to the point of not being able to breathe. At the highest level, this involves fainting after a set. So if that's your goal, hold your breath as long as possible. It's true that there is a general recommendation to inhale during the eccentric phase and exhale during the concentric phase, among other breathing techniques that only increase performance but those are for amateurs and the real tough ones, just ignore them all. Lastly, 
definitely don't stretch after your workout. Stretching would help return your muscle to their resting tone, normalize your nervous system, and kickstart the recovery process. Moreover, effective stretching techniques, such as PNF stretching or loaded progressive stretching, could potentially improve your flexibility, which could be disastrous, since of course, it's good to be as stiff as a broomstick so you can't scratch your back or tie your shoes. So as soon as you're done with your last set, just grab your stuff, say goodbye to your buddies and leave. So these are the eight most important things to keep in mind if you want your workout to be a complete mess, not progress at all and accidentally achieve your goals, skip the warm-up, don't do joint preparation, jump into advanced exercises, rush the repetitions, don't use full range of motion, never lock your elbows, don't breathe during exercises and don't stretch after your workout. Now, of course, this entire video was made purely for entertainment purposes. I hope the sarcasm was obvious. I don't recommend anyone actually follow these tips. As you've seen in most parts, I try to highlight the real benefits of doing the opposite of the sarcastic advice. So turning serious now, I advise everyone to indeed warm up, do joint preparation, gradually dive into practicing different skills, perform controlled, proper repetitions in the full range of motion, breathe properly after the appropriate preparation, feel free to perform straight arm exercises and definitely stretch after your workout. I've made separate videos on each of the mentioned topics which you can find on this channel. If you indeed want to achieve the best shape of your life while paying attention to all I just mentioned, following a system used by thousands of people worldwide, click the link below, download the Gymnastics Method app in the App Store or Google Play Store, become a member, get full access to all program tutorials, daily workouts and much more. If you want to apply to one-on-one -on -one online coaching to work with me personally or my best coaches, you can find the details in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and now check out the videos I mentioned on the end screen.